Good morning, good morning, Lincoln Mitchell. Uh, let's dive right into it. Um, I'm always asked about training or do I do signals? Um, I don't do either. I wouldn't mind doing them, but I just think at the cost, I would want to do them. Most people just, you know, even when I did present it, most people, and I thought it was a very fair price, but most people just didn't take to it. But one reason why I don't do training is the maturity level. People to understand, to read these charts the way I read these charts, it's just, it, there's a crazy maturity level. We're going to start on Euro, Euro Yen. So let's just use Euro Yen right here, right? So I know right here, I know there's a failed sandwich technique. I know this sandwich technique is failed. So automatically, this that's why this came down and completed that cycle. So when I'm looking at this already, I know there is a problem here, right there. Uh, let me get a, uh, what you call it, too, because I'm going to have to use one of these. I don't know which one's going to be better. So I know right there, this sandwich technique failed. Now, over time, I have figured out on that fourth candle, that candle will come back. But everything I'm about to say, people, do not use this because I read price. But I do read patterns as well, but price still overrides anything I do. <coughs> so I know right here that, that that's a failed sandwich technique that would normally come back. That would normally come back, which it did right there. Now, I know right here, this is actually a failed setup. I also, let me go back to this. I know this one and this one are tattertails. This one came just shy of a price target. It came down to it pretty close. It got even closer. And then news hit at that, I think it was around nine, I mean, eight something. I forgot what this candle was because this is a screenshot. So I can be able to put this on. Um, and it just flew up. I automatically saw that. I automatically saw. This right here is also a failed sandwich technique that came back and that one complete. So this one, this area here completed that one. This area completed that one. But this, that's a big, big untriggered price. Because when I researched it, and I'm pretty sure there's a price wide hit, but I mean, from what my setup is, you know, um, this right here is a very, very important candle. When you have the open and close or high and low at the same, that's a very important candle. Most of y'all can't read it. This is played out perfect. This came back down. This setup and this setup are the same. Can you see them? I want you to focus one, two, three. One, two, three. But as you notice, this is how that setup should have finished out versus this one came back. It went the other way. Can you see it? I can see it plain as day. See that candle? That inverted hammer. Hammer here, inverted hammer here. You see that? That's how this is supposed to play out. But for you to learn all that, people, it's, it, it takes an immense amount of time. It's just not something that's going to happen overnight. And, and I think that's what a lot of people fail to realize. <coughs> uh... Let me move these out the way. I would like to keep them there, but I'm going to move them out the way temporarily. Now, on this page right here, I know that this is your true support or resistance. There's a line going right across. Let me see. Can I get it on there and show you exactly what I'm talking about? Right there. That is your true support and resistance. That is a setup that is notorious. People always put them up here because they think that's your real support and resistance, but it's really not. The real support and resistance people is based on a number factor, not a one-time hit. It's not a high. It's not a low. It's not the, the real support and resistance is right there. And as you notice, once it came down, it hit this area and could not get past that area. Let me slide it over. See there? Now, didn't I say that before all this? Now, you notice, it. 
I already caught it. And if you notice, it went on and hit that line all day long. And then once it broke good here, it, it shot up. That right there is your real support and resistance, people. It's based on the number factor. Now, let's keep, continue on. Let me see what else I see. This here is called a pyramid technique. That's one of my strategies right there. It's called a pyramid technique. But remember, good Lord, once again, people, I'm telling you, everything is based on price. People, please do not look at this video and go, oh, man, he said this is a pyramid technique. Oh, man, you know what? He also said this right here is supposed to be red. As you can see, this one failed, but it came back and it completed it. And there's certain percentages that people don't know that, you know, I kind of researched myself over time and I back test and they're very, very, very accurate. I automatically know this is a pyramid technique. I can see it plain as day. Um, I automatically know that this is an untriggered price right there. This line right here, which is right there, that that candle right there is an untriggered price, which it came back later and hit right there. And these are things I see, and I and there's more I can see on this page, but you know, and I'm not really going to go into depth with with it, um, but. Just for you just to learn that part of it would take an immense amount of time, people. It would take a really, really, really long time just for me to teach you those simple things. And half of y'all, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to rely on these setups. You're going to say what well, Mr. Lincoln said. Lincoln said this should do this every time. No, it doesn't <laughs> because you're not putting in the price factors to it. And that's where everybody... You can have the perfect setup. You can have the perfect uh, EMA, SMA. I don't care what you have. If you cannot put that price structure with the pattern, it, it's just, it, it's useless. It's useless. I'm telling you, it is. It's useless. You have to be able to put the price with the structures. And that's my whole point, people. And that's one of the reasons why I don't train, because just to learn all of this, even before you get to these levels, I have another video. Um, I got I got some videos that's I have a lot of private videos, believe it or not, that I that people have just never seen. Only people seen them is just me and my wife. But just for me to teach you how this pattern goes and see what you're seeing and how it's setting up, like that pyramid right there, how it's setting up and what it's supposed to do, it's gonna take an immense amount of time. I'm telling you it is. You know, I could just glance at this right here and just tell you that, like I told you, that's a tattertail wick right here. That's a tattertail wick. That wick is a tattertail wick. There's something strange with just this wick, not the rest of them, but mainly this one, because I knew there was some prices there that it missed. <clears throat> so that's a tattertail wick. Um, it's it's a lot you have to learn, people, and to get to that maturity level is what a lot of people are missing in trading. You know. It's not going to happen overnight. There's no quick method for me just to show you this, 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 this. this. Is there's no quick method. Because just like this one failed, once this one failed, most of y'all don't know where your entry would have been. So, okay, well, Lincoln said this is a failed setup. You know, okay, now, if it's a failed setup, what is the real price? You don't know. Okay, when do I enter it? You don't know. How far should it go? You don't know. And that maturity level is going to take you time to notice, okay, this is a failed setup. So let me find right underneath that pyramid technique, right here. If he gets up underneath this line and closes, this should trigger that line right there. But it never got up underneath that line. You see what it did? It came, it spiked down, it triggered this line. This was one of the main lines it was going for. It triggered this line. It never hit the it never hit the real target. Came right back up. Now somebody gonna say, "Man, this market is unpredictable." No, it's not. It just told you. I just told you this was a pyramid setup, and I told you the line was here. It never got up underneath that line. It never closed up underneath that line, people. It just spiked down and got that untriggered price and spiked up. And that's probably the reason why that there's something fishy with that wick. Because it just spiked down and came right back up and it never got up underneath my line. That's why I told you on my videos, look at that video called Lawyer Talk. It's very important if you strive things like this. This stuff is, 
people, this is where well, it is a game, but it's not a game. Y'all know what I'm getting at with that. The, the maturity level for you to learn just those little strategies, it would take me an immense amount of time to teach, to teach you that. You know, and, and that's 90% of the reason I don't train. I'm a, I'm a good dude. Anybody who tell you, you know, you can reach out to me, talk to me, and you can ask for my phone number, hell, I'll give it to you. But the fact for me to teach you those type of things, people, it, it's just it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. It's just too long. And I, and I apologize for that. I really, truly do. But in order for me to teach somebody, they have to put some really good money on the line because it's going to take me a long time because I I have to take you to unlearn what you have learned and start learning you how I read charts. You know, and that's that's a hard concept. It's hard to break people away from old habits, what they're used to. But anyway, that's it. Lincoln Mitchell.